We are honored really today to have Professor Dr. Shahram Khazuti uh, among us, as uh, you may read in the guidebook. Dr. Khazuti is a, a professor at Iranian Institute of Philosophy and Tehran University as well. He has done a lot of works in comparative studies of religion, mysticism, and Islamic understand philosophy. Um, as I said before, uh, today we, uh, we have Dr. Fazuti in two days. Now, one of them is today, and the other session is the next week. But today's session is uh, <coughs> planned to be for questions and answers and proposals, presenting the proposals. And so, uh, Dr. Fazuti, yesterday we had Dr. Ahmed Ahmadi here who spoke about Kant, Hume, and casualty and things like that. And also we had Dr. Sayyid Mahmoud al Musabi who spoke about uh, the general uh, uh, ideas of uh, Molossado's philosophy. He tried to have an introduction to his philosophy. Yesterday, uh, I think they, they had some questions regarding the first session and second session. And there is a state question. <coughs> uh, if you like, we can start with questions and answers, or, for example, Mr. Schwanek can present his uh, proposal first, first and then the audience. Mm -hmm. Before starting my talk, I should say welcome to Iran, to all of you from different countries. I hope you have good time in Tehran, in Iran. I don't think actually because of the pollution you will enjoy the weather, but I hope you enjoy other things than the weather. This is the second time I'm here last year, and uh, I think, except the, the, no, no, but, uh, yeah. and the people here now, and the, the first time they are in, in your seminars. Yes, the first time. Oh. But, but Mr. Schwann, the second time. Yeah. 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 First time. Yeah. I don't know whether I know the answer to the, all the questions <laughs> they have, but, but I will do my best. But I have read uh, all the proposals, and I, according to the time, as the time allows us, choose uh, four of them to discuss myself. But uh, I don't know whether the people are here or not. First one is by Victor Joseph Schwanek. Yes. 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 The second I read was by Mr. Andrew Litford. Yeah. Is Andrew he? has not arrived yet. Okay. Yes. okay. The third is by Mr. Mohammad Nur Jabir. Yes. Is he here? Yes. 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 Mr. yes. yes. And the fourth is by Mr. Hassan Arif. Yeah, Hassan Arif. Yesterday was here. He may come. He may come. Yes. This is the four proposals. I wanted to talk myself. And actually, I did not have enough time to read the rest of the proposals. And uh, but, but to the best of my, my knowledge, if there is a question, I, if I can answer it. Please let me know. Please ask. Or perhaps the other thing would be that everybody explains about his proposal, his own proposal, and we'll discuss all together here about it. Hmm? Are you thinking about So, yes, we go on with proposals, and 
It's, it's not the it's equivalent according to the roots of the word between hajatud I think renewation is a good equivalent for hajatud mm-hmm. amsal is the plural of the word mis in yes, Arabic yes. but what they meant what the, the Sufis meant by hajatud amsal is the renewation of existence so you can't say it is just not exactly the uh, equivalent, but we can say we can, we can translate it as renewation of the existence. <coughs> uh, my question is when I read the substantial motion, I always just talk about in the material uh, area. Mm. Uh, I, I, I never find the uh, philosopher, in Islam philosopher, talk about uh, substantial motion in. In material world, mm-hmm. always in material world. Mm-hmm. But uh, in Tajadud Amsa, mm-hmm. the uh, motion is in every entity. Mm-hmm. Even in uh, in material world, is heaven. So, <laughs> how if you want to uh, make comparison between Al Harka Al Jawahariya and Tajadud Amsa, mm-hmm. what is uh, the main uh, uh, I mean the connection mm-hmm. between Alharka Jawharia and Tajadud Amsal because this is in material world but in Tajadud Amsal uh, in material world and in material world mm-hmm. At, uh, except if we uh, make uh, from the substantial motion into extensial motion I mean, because uh, Mula Sadra uh, Jauhan or Substantial is something in Tibari. <coughs> uh, Jauhan or Substance is something in Tibari. So, it Tibari uh, is, we cannot make this it Tibari uh, based on uh, uh, in philo- Sadra's philosophy, because Sadra's philosophy is Salat Rujit wa Tibari to Mahir. But al harka al jauhariya al jauhari is substance substance in tibari. So, can we say that this is al harka al wujudia? Uh, like uh, Sadra changed the imkan mahwi to imkan fakri. Mm-hmm. My question: Why Sadra did, didn't change from the harka jauhariya to harka wujud? Because if we say harka wujud, so uh, every wujud, uh, material world, uh, material world is heaven. The harka is heaven. If we can um, say this, so this is, there is connection between Ahargal Jawahariya and Tadadud Amsal. Yeah. Let me explain more in, about the, your vocabulary of the Tadadud Amsal and Harikati Jawahariya. Uh, the word Tadadud Amsal, as I said, is an Arabic word, mean uh, uh, renewation of the existence. Originally, it goes back to the Ibn Arabi and Mulana Rumi, and you can see most of the Sufi thinkers that they say that creation is not just at one time, at the uh, eternity and it has been finished. They say that at each time, each moment, God gives existence and it takes it back again. 
خلق نعربی بیسه خلق and loops خل is taking off loops is putting on when you put on your clothes you are making the loops action when you take it off from your body it is خل خل and loops according to Ibn Arabi school of thought at each moment God God gives existence to all beings all beings material and immaterial and he takes it back and this giving and taking back make make a movement movement not in a physical sense makes a transformation makes a change in whole existence in each of the things and he uh, this is the Hajjad to the Amsal Hajjad to the Amsal according to the Ibn Arabi school of thought Mullah Satra and uh, there is a quite famous verse by Mulana Rumi he says that in each three things هر نفس نو می شود دنیا و ما بی خبر از نو شدن من در بها این هیس مرد نبی he says that each in each breathing word is renewed we have a new word but we think that uh, it, nothing has been changed everything is in its place this is just our um, opinion but it's not the case it's not in reality at each time, at each breathing of us, the word is renewed and we have a new word. It includes material and immaterial things, the whole word. So, if, if God is at all times giving existence to all beings and taking it back, <coughs> so he, at each time he is the creator. He has not created at the beginning of the word at each time he is a creator at each moment of our life he is the creator so the other rule coming from this introduction is the khalq mudam yes according to Mr. Asghari I don't know who has translated to renewal of oneness the renewal of oneness Anyway, we don't have actually good vocabulary yes, mm -hmm. essence. essence. Yes. No. But because because the idea is completely new, I mean, uh, uh, you cannot find it, a good vocabulary for it, for it, especially in the modern philosophy. You don't have something like that other than so. Anyway, according to this idea God is always creator and he has not created the world at the beginning of the time at each time he creates it again and this makes a movement in the whole world it begins from the God and it returns to God the world returns back again to God in a circle in a circle and in Christianity it it, it uh, it is similar, I think, to the uh, ideas of Jean Scott Erigen. Jean Scott Erigen. You will find the same thing, the same idea, but not Tajadud Amsal. Mm -hmm. The beginning and returning of the word to him. And uh, Jean Scott Erigen at the 9th century, I think. Well, this is the uh, Sufi ideas, according to the school of thought. Ibn Arab is a school of thought. Mullah Hydra uses this idea, but he as a philosopher. We can say Mullah Hydra is a Sufi philosopher or a philosopher Sufi. I don't know whether his philosophy overwhelmed his Sufi ideas or vice versa. Anyway, he, he uses, like many other things, many other ideas from the Ibn Arabi school of thought, but since he is a philosopher, and it's very important, he is not completely, he has not completely a Sufi view. He's a philosopher too. So, uh, he makes 
new idea of harikatul jawhariya substantial movement or movement in substance you know that none of the aristotelian philosophers including ibn sina believes in the idea that the substance there is any kind of motion in substance motion excuse me I, motion is in the uh, accidents not in the substance so he he none of the aristotelian philosophers believe motion in the substance uh, and all believe in the accidents but mullah sattra according to this idea of tajaddud al-amsal renewation of existence he says that this idea applies only to the material beings to the material things not to the immaterial so it it includes only the worldly the word in the material world and uh, the immaterial beings such as angels do not have any kind of motion because they don't have the material as as they matter to be uh, changed into a new uh, being they don't have any potential uh, things to uh, immaterial things they don't have any potentiality in themselves to be exercised and we have a new being so uh, Mullah Sadra says that Harikati Johari is the basis of all substances and you will find in all substances they have a movement in their substance, substantial motion and the goal of this movement is to improve, to get a, a better existence, to have a better existence and uh, so according to this idea he tries to solve many ideas, many theological ideas, unsolved according to philosophers. You know, there is a, there is a, a, a long history of discussions between Mutikallim and Darkmatic theologians and the philosophers, Aristotelian philosophers, <coughs> including Farabi, Ibn Sina, about many, many theological Islamic Darkmas. And so he tries to solve things like the Ma'ad uh, Jasmani Ma'ad Jasmani is corporeal resurrection of the man, corporeal resurrection of the man none of the philosophers before him believes in Ma'ad Jasmani they said that uh, resurrection is a spiritual and, uh, but Mullah Sadra tries to solve it according to this idea of Harikat Johari and he says that the spirit is the outcome is the improvement, is the, mm, uh, is the final state uh, uh, of the body. So, so he tries to say that uh, we, have, we have body, material body, and we have immaterial spirit. Immaterial spirit is the fruit of this substantial motion in body. So he tries to solve. Well, there are the others who, who says that this is not, this is not sufism, nor it is philosophy. Some people say like this. Some people say, it's, what does it this mean? If it is, it is Sufi idea, okay. But if it is philosophy, then the, there are many uh, differences, uh, many disagreements <coughs> between them. So. What you said about this Tajadud Amsal, you should know that it is completely an <coughs> original idea in Sufi thought. But Mullah Sadra as a philosopher, when he uses it as a philosophical term, as a philosophical idea in his system of thought, he will find difficulties. He will find difficulties as you said, we will also we will find difficulties. If it is a renewation of the whole existence, it should include all ma uh, either material or the immaterial world. But why he says that only 